Hi, this is a podcast on normal distribution. Normally distributed populations have some very cool um, characteristics, I guess you can say. Uh, one of which is that a lot of populations have uh, most of their data centered around the mean. And this, you can say that this zero represents the mean. Uh, another cool characteristic of a normal distribution says that 68% of all of the data um, is within one standard deviation of the mean. And then it sort of trails off from there, saying that, okay, most of the stuff is around the mean, and then everything else is sort of, you know, less possible. And then all the way up to three and four standard deviations away, you barely have any, any population left at all. Um, one of the, one cool um, sort of application of normal distribution, or where we find the normal distribution, is uh, heights. Uh, or weight or anything like that, but in particular heights uh, in the United States, for example, has uh, the average male height is it's five foot ten inches, which would be seventy inches, and the standard deviation is three inches. So that's saying that this is an average of seventy, right there, and then this would be seventy three, and this would be sixty seven. This would be seventy six. And this would be 64. So you can see that, going with the last slide, that around 68% of the population fall between 67 and 73 inches tall. Now, a couple of famous um, basketball players, like basketball players like Michael Jordan, six foot six, that is 78 inches, which would mean he is approximately right here, which is a, a little bit bigger than two standard deviations above the mean. Actually, almost three standard deviations above the mean. And Kobe Bryant, six foot seven. Again, uh, three standard deviations above the mean. And you can see the Yao Ming, <clears throat> seven foot five. That's way tall. That's about six standard deviations above the mean. There's about two people in the world that are taller or, uh, or have equal height to him. So let's do some of this stuff. Uh, IQ scores. So you can see that there's I can tell you that there's a mean of 100 for IQ scores and a standard deviation of 10. That's sort of a controlled test that they try and make sure that that's always the case. So 100, this would be 110, 120, and 130 out here. This would be 90, 80, and 70. Now, if I were to ask you what is... Um, how many standard deviations is 115? So the score of 115 would be right here. How many standard deviations is that? Well, you would say that, okay, that's one and a half. So 115 corresponds to 1.5 standard deviations. What about uh, 95? So that would be right here, 95. That's negative 0.5 standard deviations. What about um, 112? So that's 1, and then just a 0.2 there is 1.2 standard deviations. So those are called z-scores. And z-scores literally means standard deviation. Okay. So what did we do in order to get these values, these ones that weren't exactly 1, 2, and 3 standard deviations? Well, I think what you probably did is you sort of took a difference here. You said, okay, that that's 15. From 100 to 115 is 15. And then you divided it by 10 to get 1.5. And if you didn't do that, you sort of did it. You sort of partitioned it into tens, which is the same as dividing. So let's actually write this, in, write this out. Let's say we have our value, x, minus our mean, divide the standard deviation. And that gives us our z-score. Z-score is how many standard deviations our data point, or our question is, above the mean. Again, so let's do an example. If we have uh, 133 minus the mean, which is 100, over the standard deviation, which is 10. So that's 33 over 10, which is 3.3 standard deviations of the above the mean, which would be, sorry, which would be right here. Okay, so normal distribution in the calculator. So let's say I want to find the probability 
of randomly picking a person that is has an IQ of less than um, 100. Okay, we already know the answer, or we should anyways. This this distribution is perfectly symmetric, so I want to know this area here. So that should be 0.5. So we're going to use our calculator and we're going to find um, find that. So you go second distribution. Normal CDF. Don't ever use normal PDF. Normal PDF is only for graphing. To actually graph what I have here, this little curve here, you use CDF if you want to actually do some math. So it's normal CDF. So um, we'll put in 0, comma, uh, sorry, I should explain what this is. You go start, comma, finish. So 0 to 100, comma, mean, which is 100 comma standard deviation, which is 10. Start, comma finish, comma mean, comma standard deviation. Enter, we get 0.5. So let's do another one. Move my stuff over here. Okay, so probability of picking a person less, let's see, x is greater than 110. So above one standard deviation above the mean. Second, enter. Let's just keep some of this data in here. We have 110. Oops, I'll just start over. Okay, second, distribute, normal CDF, start, comma, finish. So if I want to put in infinity, because someone could have a very, very high, skew, uh, very, very high IQ score, if I want to put in infinity, I go second, E, E, so second E, 99. That's infinity in the calculator notation. So second, so start, comma, finish, comma, mean, comma, standard deviation, which is 15% likely to happen, 15.8%. Okay, and... Let's do one more. Probability of getting uh, randomly picking a person between with an IQ of between 95 and 108. Okay, so we go second, distribute, normal CDF, start, comma, finish, comma, mean, comma, standard deviation. 47%. Okay, so the last, the next thing is uh, in inverse normal. Inverse normal is sort of, is basically working backwards. It's say, the question will say something like, okay, there's um, given the mean, so 100 and 100 again, and a standard deviation of 10. What's the probability of randomly picking up, sorry, given the probability, let's say you want to be above um, the 95th percentile. So how many, what's your score need to be? Ah, geez. I'm not saying this very well. This needs to be 5%. So what does my score need to be in order to be smarter or have a better IQ than 95% of the population? So what's that score right there with only 5% above and 95% below? Well, the inverse normal, no matter how the question is worded, only runs from uh, negative infinity to some value, to some value here. It can never run from a value to infinity. So you just go second, inverse normal, 0.95. comma standard deviation and it gives you the value of 116.4 so I need to be uh, get an IQ score of 116.4 now what would have happened if I put in just 5% so if I actually go here and put in a 0 .5, 0 0.05 like that I get 83.55 it's actually the exact same score, just uh, 
same distance away from the mean on this side. So you have to make sure that you're actually answering the question uh, that's asked. So that's a podcast on normal distribution. And uh, watch the next one and we'll actually do some more problems.